Hello and welcome to the Critic Kudos on a Monk. And today, yes, that's right, guys, we are back in Empire of Sin. Now, it has been a hot minute since we last played Empire of Sin. And I've been determined to jump back on it at some stage and finish our impossible playthrough. Yes, that's right. We started an impossible playthrough not too long ago. And you know what, guys? It has proved rather difficult. But we are going to finish it. We are going to um, defeat this game once and truly. Now, the impossible playthrough, for anyone that doesn't know, is us being able to complete the game without the boss with only using melee weapons. I figured that would be really difficult. And as you can see from the Black Book at all of the X's in this Black Book, it has proved to be extremely difficult. We have gone through a, a lot of gangsters. In fact, I believe almost every single one of these dead gangsters were killed by us. In other words, they were hired by us and they died in the line of service for the cause. That doesn't leave us with a lot of gangsters left. A lot of these gangsters are hired by the other um, mobsters around us. And so our choices are slim. Now, another stipulation within this impossible playthrough is that we are not allowed to heal while in combat. So what that means is if we're attacking a deeper, if we're taking a safe house or a racket, we're not allowed to heal our characters while we're in that battle we have to complete that battle before we can heal and that has led to an awful lot of death and these are rules that i stand by this is a hard rule set we're on boss difficulty um, and we've tried to make it rather difficult difficult for ourselves now one of the things that was problematic in the last episode is that we Understood. had no money not only do we have no money but we had Understood. high overheads i think we was losing around minus eight thousand per week because of the crew that we hired so i've performed a little old school trick i have fired every single gangster barring a couple um and just so that way we had a positive net income we're up to thirty three thousand per week that's been ticking by nicely we're almost up to half a million dollars now that's taken around two months of in-game time before uh, the previously fired gangsters have forgiven us and now will accept work, which is cool. We kind of given them a unpaid vacation. We're going to hire them back. We're going to hire our crew back and we're going to go out and take this city. Now, in this time we have had a war declared upon us, which if you ask me was rather inconsiderate and a little bit rude. Now, if we have a Luke, we can see that it is these guys, um, Alvira herself, that has declared war against us. I think that that was a very rude and a very mean, but hey, you know what? We needed a new target anyway. Of course, many of you will know that we were at war with Goldie. Now, we can't attack Goldie because she's kind of landlocked. Her empire is not very pretty right now. We would have had to have gone to war um, with uh, Frank Reagan, um, which I didn't necessarily want to go to war with. But it looked to be like our only route, our only yep. avenue. Um, but luckily, we have been gifted with a, another war. So Come that's kind of cool for us. So we're going to pick up from where we left off, there or thereabouts. We've fast-forwarded a couple of months now, of course, because I needed a better income flow. And um, I didn't have the money to upgrade my empire oh. at the time. I also don't have the ability to uh, to finish Understood. any missions because we are not using our boss. Therefore, we can't attend shit towns. We can't attend. Can't do a lot of uh, what we should be able to do um, just as an underboss. So there's a few avenues closed off for us, unfortunately. But if you are joining me again, guys, in 2024, I greatly appreciated it. Now, personally, I love Empire of Sin. I think it. it is a fabulous game. I would love it to see some TLC 
uh, in the future. It does look unlikely, unfortunately, but you know what? There is still a second DLC that should come out eventually because, of course, that is, you know, uh, that's something that Paradox took on. So whether that happens this year, next year, or whatever, um, eventually we should find something um, on the horizon for this game. Now, we need to rehire a crew I'm going to double check the black market but we're still 10 days out from that unfortunately and they never have anything good in them whatsoever so let's go into the black book and look to rehire some fellow gangsters now what we need is william she's an absolute bloody beast i don't need to tell you that you probably already know that if you're watching this this let's play it's probably because you absolutely love this game and therefore you already know she's a beast um let's have a look at respecting her character though this bit doesn't really matter too much for us because of course we are not using weapons anyway so we don't need a rifle a training bulk up reduce all incoming damage by 10 percent while in cover but it increases when we're out of cover we don't want that because we're going to be out of cover rather a lot um we're not going to be in overwatch so that's a useless skill for us but what we do want is bullet shield bullet shield or bull rush and both of them are absolutely amazing traits we've demonstrated them previously in our uh, let's plays bullet shield i think we're going to go with at the moment i need at least one maybe two gangsters with that it reduces the amount of damage that our characters take for three turns these are lengthy battles these days so therefore we do need a multiples of it um shatter impact or slugger now slugger has messed us up a couple of times so we're going to go with Shatter Impact, and then we're going to go with the old Meat Hook, which does take a long you, time here, uh, to learn. Don't need to worry about that too much. We do need to kit her out, though. Let's find some body armor. Let's go for blue government issue body armor. Do we have any trinkets that are actually useful? Um, higher initiative she should already be very high on initiative crit damage plus 10 percent. that could be very good for us um, extra movement and of course initiative okay so we've got a couple of really good things here i think we're gonna go for she's already beastly so i think we're gonna try and go for that extra crit damage 10 percent extra crit damage gives us a little bit of a harder hit if and when we do crit. Uh, we have the number cruncher, which has a plus 50% uh, chance to crit. Could be really useful for us. So that means our crits are gonna happen more often. We've also boosted our crit chance. We've got 50%, yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna go for. I'm just having a look to see what kind of slashing weapons we got. Not a lot. So number cruncher it is. Secondary weapon doesn't matter for us. We're not going to bring in any healing items because we're not allowed. Um, so, okay, she's looking quite pretty. She already has that. And of course she has the blue body armor. She has the Widowmaker, which is a devastating. Let's take off the medicine. Uh, and let's see if we can hire somebody else. Who do we want to hire? There's a hired gun in one sky. I don't really hire him too often, to be honest with you. Not somebody I'm looking for right now. Maybe in the future. Hello. ZZ. ZZ again is a hired gun. Who have we got here? Doing? We have got a fixer. Now, fixers are bloody useful for a few different reasons. Um, she has 100 health. She has hair trigger. Hair trigger can always be useful. Let's hire what is it? her. I'll give you a we are going to, of course, redo our abilities. Crow's feet is so useful. Poison crow's feet, even better. Um... 
booby traps can be very useful as well and of course poison booby traps can be very useful but comes with a caveat can hurt our own people uh, so we're going to go for steady instead and that's going to take time right, anyway great. let's give some body armor out we want the government issue body armor we want decent body armor she doesn't have the best health uh, so we are going to have to help her survive here. We're going to skip the sledgehammers and go straight to an axe. A bit grim, but hey, that's where we are. Um, who else can we hire? Who else is good? We have a hired gun, another hired gun, a con artist. I quite like con artists. Hired gun, a demolitionist. Kind of want another, another enforcer. I don't think there's any more enforcers left, unfortunately, which is problematic for us. We really are low on uh, on gangsters. Hello. And we're probably even lower on characters with more than a hundred health because there just aren't any left. No one left at all. How you doing? Everyone has a hundred health or less. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go for the con artist. Now the reason we're gonna go for the con artist is because they have a pretty good ability, one that I think is gonna help us quite a lot. Uh, it is knife throw, and we can also do the axe throw as well. What that means is we actually have a little bit of range in our characters. Um, we're still doing melee hits, but as I just said, um, wonderful. It gives us a little bit of a little bit of uh, of range. Plus, she happens to have cat has nine lives, which is really bloody useful. Oh, we don't want that. We want the melee weapon option. We do have another axe, so we're we we'll stick with that for now. Um, so who have we got? We've got a team of I believe four. Um, I think there is another. Where are we looking? Another con artist. How do you do? Another con artist in Percival. Okay, we will hire him. We're going to again go for the knife throw and the axe throw. We're going to go for the sucker punch, but we're going to have to learn that. Give him the body armor. And do we have... Slashing weapons, I feel, are better because they have bleed. Bleed is very strong, very useful. Uh, and definitely something we would recommend. We can hire two. Very nice. Um, demolitionist. I feel like we're going to go for Ma. Let's get um, this place in order. Just for the extra crow's feet, poison. Uh, we actually got the booby trap. Not going to go for that one, though. We've Thank had more before. Give her the body armor. And, of course, let's see if we have got a slashing weapon. We do, but it is not good. That one's slightly better. We have a hefty crew now. Um, let's see if anyone needs healing. Because, of course, a lot of these people have also been in our crew before. And because we fired them, they don't necessarily heal themselves in that time. Which I think is a little bit silly of them, isn't it? They should at least visit the doctors once, eh? And I think that's going to be the last melon. There we go. All done. Right, let's have a little bit of look see. So we have set up and we are ready to go. Um, now we actually have a little foothold 
in the area which is cool for us. So we're going to travel to... Understood. And there's our gangsters looking all pre. Now we are actually in a bit of a predicament Understood. here. We've gone straight in. Uh, I think gotcha. if I zoom out a little bit, we're going to have to... We're gonna give extra time. Ah, it is yourself. Give extra time. Right. Z You're looking I'm well. gonna get annoyed with you in a minute, man. Right, we're gonna zoom out. Safe house, I believe, is here. So what we need to do is we need to take over this precinct here before we can attack this precinct. So before we take over this precinct, we need to knock off a couple of those rackets. Uh, which we should be able to do fairly easy. Yep. Gotcha. Call a doc. Unfortunately, he's a little bit out of our range, which is kind of annoying. Maybe we can get our guys into cover. He does have a gun. Um, getting people killed for no reason is not clever. I should have used bullet shield. Should have used that already. Unfortunately, I didn't. And Ma, let's stick Ma behind a car so that way she can't get hurt. One of our random guys. <laughs> Luckily, they completely missed, done absolutely naff all. Let's end our turn, or delay our turn, I should say. Do a knife throw. Got 21 points of damage there. And then we did get to do a melee as well. And inflicted bleeding, which means they are, of course, dead. Which is cool for us. I'm going. Yep. Okay, that Excellent. is that. I think That's there bright. is. Let's pop in there and fingers crossed there's not a million people in here. Only four. Game gives us a 71% chance of winning this battle. Let me tell you this, it is a hell of a lot higher than 71%. Um, I, th I feel quite, quietly confident. I'm going. Got bleed on that. I'm gonna go for the old bullet shield. Um, reduced damage is always a good option. I'm on it. On it. Now, admittedly, I'm ignoring my ranged options then. Um, I'm just trying to eliminate somebody though. Looks like he's my only option to kill. Pop behind here, behind cover. Mar gets a go. We're going to use the crow's feet. A crow's feet are awesome because it kind of interrupts what they were planning to do with their first AP, um, which is why I love it so much. And of course, when we get a chance to poison as well, like on top of that, so powerful, really powerful. I'm going. Shit! 
And crow's feet doesn't seem to poison us either, even though the poison is tied to crow's feet when it comes to the bear trap. It's like a cloud of poison. You walk into it, it ain't good. Um, but it doesn't seem to work that way hey. with the crow's feet. So, got more utility. <laughs> Immediately. We don't have crit, and of course, is still poisoned. And then we finish right. that off. That was a really easy win, guys. Real easy win. 134 so damage there, too. We've got a couple of goodies. Good. Lots of loot to sell, of course. That's right. Um, let's just it. go up and then take on these two as well. Got it. Bleed damage and poison. That one should be dead before now we even I'm get bad. a go if we can't take this guy out. 62 points of damage without a crit isn't too bad. Um, obviously, Understood. Williams is the one that we gave the sledgehammer to, yeah. and throughout this playthrough, I have not enjoyed the sledgehammers, but I'm taking a gamble with her. Seeing if it helps, of course. Um, I did actually forget to look at one thing. We go to our gangsters. Who is there? Yeah, Ma. We do. There we go. I'm going to give Ma the golden pocket watch. Reason is, it ups her initiative. Now, she doesn't have great initiative anyway, so this gives her 84, but it also gives her three movement, and she has horrendous movement. So that actually goes up to seven kind of usable now um so yeah yeah i completely forgot to dish out the extra trinket gotcha no, it's kind of unusual. We're actually all in this back of the room right here. Doesn't normally work out like that, but hey, we will take it. All right. What I mean about actually making Mar useful, um, that's made a massive deal. I'm on I don't want to block that doorway, so let's try and get in and around there. She is kind of open, which is problematic. Oh, wait a minute. Can we actually go through this door? I did not realise that. That's cool. Okay, he doesn't have much health. Let's go for the throwing knife op option. And we missed. You're not making a strong case for me there, mate. Of course. Shit! All right then. Try and kill this one off because we have got Diana next. Shit. Okay, it's bleeding, so really not an issue. <clears throat> Shit. Bleeding as well. Okay, so dead already. I think that guy up there is the only one that on. isn't. Completely wasted turn there. So they've done a tiny bit of damage to us in this fight. Nothing to cry about. Yeah. Actually went pretty smooth. I think we got a little bit lucky in the last few uh, rackets not having many guards in them. Fantastic. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. That's right. Let's see if we need to heal at all. Damn. We have a tiny bit of health to replace. Gotcha. Apart from that though, we are all good. Got it. I'm 
I feel like so far a nice little warm up episode. It's going very well. Certainly. Going very, very well. Got a good crew going. No injury so far. Everyone's kitted out well. We've really got a plan of action, which is always handy. I'll get it done. Um, and of course we've got money, which is Wonderful. very important for us. Excellent. Good. That's right. We're only on a minus nine. Um, and we have got bank. 71% chance of winning this battle once again. Certainly. Yeah. Even positioned myself behind cover. I get so many comments within my Empire Sim videos because I do not use cover nearly enough. Now, because I'm doing a melee playthrough, you may forgive me for, you know, for not doing that. Um, but hey, I do try to remember to use it when I can. We're going to have to get our guys in the battle here trying to make sure everyone's behind some kind of cover and of course able to do something on the next turn can't quite get the angle for those let's delay the turn that's a good idea isn't it we we'll delay the turn on two of them. So if they do move in, we've got a chance to actually attack someone on this turn. You went the opposite way, dude. All focused on Williams. Not really an issue for us. Because Williams, of course, has a huge health bar. Let's pop her in there, clear that doorway. Hundred and twenty, very nice, very very nice. Don't feel like I can kill them. Not with one here. Now, of course, Diana can. I'm on it. So, the late turns on a load of them. So he's going to take his turn, and we're going to be able to finish this battle up after that. I'm on it. Now Diana is too far back. All right, then. Nice, there we go. Kushti. That's right. Okay, so that is done. I believe we only have the guys by the depot next. So I said, okay. sure, I'll be right there to Goldie. She wants a truce. We can't give her a truce. Now, we can't give her a truce for two reasons. On one, it. we don't want one. Two, we are not the boss. And because we're not the boss, we can't attend a sit down. But we have delayed that whole thing. Um, and because we've delayed that whole thing, I've just realised I've actually put myself in a bit of a predicament here. So let's move her over this way. Who else have we got? Who is at the back? I need to move them within melee range. Now, what I'm doing is something that I call curb crawling. The battle technically has not taken place yet because 
the battle has not taken place yet, I can still move my troops around and set them up where I want them. So useful. Um, and if you need to do it, guys, I would do it, you know. And the game is the way it is, so use the exploits that are available to you. Okay, so I think we're okay. Let's try and get this. So I think that if I move her here, that should give me the most amount of damage possible uh, because she is yep. a top tier gangster and therefore she gets extra damage for the amount of uh, steps she has to take. Let's get rid of him I'm too. On. 75 damage, not great, not bad. That wasn't good. Uh, that is only one, so let's try and do some extra damage. We did do some extra damage. I'm on it. That's a shame. He's still going to be alive, which is a real shame. Um, who can we hear? Fresh targets, unfortunately. Let's go for him. As you wish. Didn't fix bleed though. All right then. Of course, we've done enough damage there for that to be a kill as well. Understood. Try and hope for a crit. He did get a crit and is bleeding, so is going to die. All right. Can we get a one and done? There we go. Somebody hit there. We love it. Love to see that. One dead. Two dead. <laughs> we knew that one. That's a shame. But completely missed. Oh, suppressed. Waste of a turn. Well, guys, and on that bombshell, I'm going to end this episode right here. We're going to heal up, and in the next episode, we are doing a precinct battle. Now, we haven't done a precinct battle for a little while. These guys are pretty much untested. This team is untested. Can we get through a precinct without losing a gangster? What I'm most proud of is that we got through an episode without losing a gangster. And if you want to see if we can take on this next challenge, then don't forget to join me in the next episode. Thank you very much, guys. I've been a monk. We've been a critic curious, and I will see you in the next video real soon. Until then, take it easy and happy gaming.